Hey guys, what we have here are our initial findings when it comes to repairability on the iPhone 13 series as of September 17th, 2021. First, we will address the big question. Do you lose Face ID when you change the screen through third-party repair? The short answer is yes. Credits go to the phone guru for being the first to discover this problem. We'll start by showing you that each of these brand new iPhone 13s have fully functional Face ID and also show that Face ID works without the top flex connected. Now we will take the screen from phone 1 and install it onto phone 2. We get the standard display message but in addition, Face ID is unavailable. Putting the screen back onto its original phone, Face ID works perfectly. We put the screen back onto the other phone and try to restore the device. Unfortunately, it does not solve the issue. This confirms that changing the screen on iPhone 13 will result in the loss of Face ID. At this point, we consider the variables. The only explanation is the IC on the original screen it must hold the encrypted information that is required for Face ID to work. Let's transfer the chip. Following this process, we no longer have the display message and the Face ID error is gone. However, we do encounter a secondary error message right before Face ID tries to scan, referencing the True Depth camera. At this point, we try restoring the phone and even transferring the other IC, which as far as we know is just for display functions and doesn't hold any data. Unfortunately, the true depth camera issue remains. There is no real reason why Face ID shouldn't work after transferring the first chip. This true depth error is still under investigation. To complete our testing, we put the logic board from phone 1 into phone 2 in order to test other functions, mainly the front camera, rear camera, and battery. All appear to work fine. So at this point, as of September 27th, 2021, and on iOS 15, changing the screen on iPhone 13 through third-party repair will result in the loss of Face ID. If this does not get fixed by a software update from Apple, then it is very bad news for third-party repair and we will have to find workarounds. Potential solutions include transferring the IC from the original screen by means of micro-soldering, which is very difficult and time-consuming, or we can hope for China to come up with a programmer that can read and write the necessary data. Outside of that, only Apple and IRP authorized providers will be able to retain Face ID during a screen repair until this issue gets fixed in an iOS update. Yes, I use the word until because I simply cannot comprehend the idea of this not being fixed by Apple. Thanks for watching and if you're new to the channel, subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.